Wave 3 News reporter Felicia Ashley is there right now. Felicia, you've been there since this morning, and now it looks like a, a group has gathered there as well alongside you. Yes, that's exactly right. And one thing I want to point out is that I've spoken with many community members as well as family members out here, and they said that this was not protest related whatsoever. They said this is something they do every weekend, and they said that community members as well as some law enforcement officers are actually familiar with them doing this every Sunday night to Saturday morning. They said they gather here for music and for food, and they said what happened was, I spoke with a woman who was here last night. She said that law enforcement as well as National Guards came and blocked them into this vicinity. She said that's when um, kind of chaos started to ensue. She said that the gentleman, David McAtee, the family also confirmed that he was the man that was shot and killed yesterday. And I spoke with his mother. I spoke with his sister as well as family members. And I want to show you, you can see that we have police officers on one side, some of them in riot gear. And on this side, we have community members. This is family. This is people that just showed up after seeing what happened on Facebook Live. I don't want back up. I've got to make sure they... I'm, I don't want them to walk behind. Really? It's time to go. Yeah, really. I'm just, I don't want nobody to walk behind me. Okay, okay there you go. I thought you had to say. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Look, they all got their guns out. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired, man. They fire shots. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. They fired shots. The police came out here, they started firing shots. And they said that um, one reason why they're all up here and very emotional is because they said that the body is still in the street. A moment that I did see that the family actually went up to police officers and they were all praying in front of the police officers. Another moment that I saw was that there are community leaders out here that are really keeping the peace between the officers. <laughs> On this side, they're acting as a bridge. They are directing the people that are out here gathering as to what gathering as to what is going on out here. I want you to hear what the sister had to say about her brother David. He didn't hurt nobody. He didn't deserve to get shot down like he did. I don't know what happened, but whatever happened here, my brother didn't do nothing wrong. He really didn't do nothing wrong. He was an innocent person, innocent bystander. He, got, he did not deserve this at all. He did not deserve it. We just had, we just had our Memorial Day over here Monday. We had little kids and babies. That is something that has been echoed by every single person that I spoke spoke to out here. They said that David was someone who fed everyone in the community. He owned the barbecue shop that is that gray brick wall that is behind me. They also told me that he was known to actually feed police officers for free as well. The mom and the sisters told me that this morning when they came out, some of the police officers actually went up to them and shared their condolences because they were familiar with David and they said he was someone that was always kind to them. The mom also just moments ago, I just walked away. Um, the mayor had just called the mom and they had a very emotional moment and I heard the mom ask the mayor just to continue praying for them and that's something that has been echoed out here. I want to show you right here, this gentleman right here, this is Emmanuel and he has been acting as the bridge between the police officers. I just want to ask you really quickly, Emmanuel, you have been making sure that everyone stays on this side and doesn't cross the barriers. Why have you taken the role, you have a megaphone out here, why have you taken that role of being the peacemaker uh, with all these emotions going on? Because we need peace. It seems like a lot of people that come out here they ready for war. In that sense, I cannot let that happen. Like, it's going to happen again if we let them go to war. So if I have to put myself in between that so that they don't go to war, it's what has to be done. Somebody has to say, y'all about to commit another wrong. And he has been a huge voice out here as well as others. We had Reverend Charles Elliott out here as well, praying over everyone to make sure the keep is, peace is kept. And that has been the voice and the energy out here. Of course, there's a lot of noise, a lot of emotion, but it has been peaceful. Brian. Yeah, Felicia, if you can hear me, I wanted to touch on something, see if you can give us some perspective on this. Obviously, tonight, uh, we don't know exactly what's going to happen in regards to the protests. Would be night five if people are out again protesting uh, the deaths of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Obviously, now this is another person in our community here at home who has been shot and killed. You said yourself that uh, this was not related to the protests. So now that there is a group gathering out there right now, are you getting a sense that people are going to be out protesting what happened last night? as well as what's been going on in our country before this? I do, and I feel that way because of what I've heard. I mean, a 
quote that was said by most people out here is that, you know, they were using pepper bullets and rubber bullets down on Bardstown and downtown, and they keep saying, why do they use real bullets over here on the West End? So they are very upset that, you know, there have been protests for multiple days, and we've seen the actions of people on Broadway as well as, excuse me, as on Bardstown Road as well as downtown. They're saying, you know, this didn't happen there. So they're very upset with that. Uh, David McAtee, from what I've seen, every single person out here said he was a person of peace and love, the type that would give you the shirt off his back. So they're really upset that in the midst of all these protests for Ahmaud Arbery, for George Floyd, and Breonna Taylor, that, you know, another person of color was killed by law enforcement and or the National Guard. So I will say that, yes, and I've heard some people say that, you know, let's move this out of our community and down to downtown. So we'll have more on this story for now. We're reporting live from 26 and Broadway. Felicia Ashley with Wave 3 News. And Felicia, it looks like things getting busy down there already right now. This would be the earliest that we have have seen a protest through any of this. Uh, some of the officers there behind you, are they in their full uh, riot gear, what you can expect to see at nighttime? It's tough to tell from our angle as uh, your photographer there zooms in. Sorry, Carol, I didn't hear you. Give us a sense of how many people are down there surrounding you oh. right now. Sorry, Brian, repeat that. Yeah, sorry, Felicia. I know it's question? tough to hear. It's uh, it's loud there down there. Can you give us a sense of how many people are there oh, yes. already around you? And if those officers behind you in the line, are they in the full uh, riot gear, what we sometimes see in the evenings as well? Yes, they are. And I will say at first when there are people out here, I would say it's not. It hasn't hit quite a hundred yet, but it's almost going to reach that cusp because more people are coming out. At first, there were not police in riot gear, but as more people showed up, more officers started showing up and they took that, sorry, they took that stance that we're familiar with and then they did pull out that riot gear. I will say once officers put that riot gear on, it changed the tone out here. People started getting more upset seeing that and prior to that, it was really peaceful and then once they saw police officers put the riot gear on, it kind of ensued deeper emotions and more anger, to be honest. And then once the family prayed in front of the police officers, it brought it back to that peace and camaraderie. And you can see that they're doing um, a hands up moment right now. They're redirecting traffic. So there's a lot of changes in tones happening out here right now. We'll let you get back to uh, reporting out there. Stay safe as always. And thanks as always for keeping us updated on all the latest happening uh, throughout these protests.